Anu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's currently almost 12:15 a.m. and this. <laughs> All right, so let's do the introduction properly. It's almost 12:15 a.m. and I'm trying to create a skincare video for you and some makeup that I've recently bought. I am trying to be more active on YouTube, and that's why I'm shooting in the night in between my. full time job because i don't get time in the day in the day i create instagram content so i don't know what i'm going to be uploading on youtube uh, i think i'm just going to show you a couple of aspects of my life makeup travel let's see how it goes uh, because it's going to be quite a challenge to be active but nonetheless let's get going All right so I have the first product for you but before we begin please read the disclaimer in the description uh this is the earth rhythm sunscreen stick i just ordered it i quite like the packaging it's really cute especially the color and it has a top like this and then you just remove it okay little bit it's melting because i think of the heat um so you can see how oh, it's just come off but i guess that's okay because it's summer so maybe when it got delivered so the i bought this because it's very uh, easy to kind of put it on your face especially when you're traveling it's compact you can just put it in your bag and reapply it i must admit that it's not the easiest to glide on and like kind of spread i am having to put a lot of pressure and uh, it's not like buttery smooth is a mineral are yaar is ko sorry <laughs> this is what happens when you are not experienced so you just have to roll it back before you put the top down so yeah so this is the mineral sun stick spf 50 and yeah so thick sticky and not easy to glide on uh, but i think you can still make do with it there are other sunscreens which are very like you can just put it on your face i just bought this because of its like functionality it's so cute and small and just very handy okay confession time i did see alia but and her sister's skincare video and that was the first time i heard the words ceramide and peptide apparently they are very very good for you and they help you slow down aging they protect your skin like a lot of good stuff just google the benefits so i ordered the ceramide hyaluronic uh, acid moisturizer moisturizer <laughs> all right ceramide hyaluronic acid moisturizer by Requil I think that's how you pronounce it now she uses uh, the dew uh, brand which is like 3500 or 800 bucks and whenever I try anything new I just don't like to splurge money first hand I want to try it and see if it suits me because a lot of times I just order products and they don't do as well as you think they will so this is how it looks it's a nice tube like handy i'll put all the prices in the description it has the consistency of like nivea cream if you know and it's really nice and very moisturizing i have used this for 2 weeks and it really just kind of glides on very smoothly and it's very moisturizing and it stays on your skin and you can feel that it makes it soft and quite hydrated for a very long time now i have normal skin if you have dry skin this is great for you but if you're someone who has oily skin maybe it will be too hydrating for you but i suggest that try a little bit and see it may just work because it's not extremely thick but it's perfect for dry skin and normal skin so really good one uh, i quite like this it's really good under makeup especially products that are matte and drying you can use this this will definitely help so good one and then the next one is peptide this is the earth rhythm lip mask honestly this really didn't do much for me like i think vaseline is better now it says it has peptides but i have not noticed anything like extraordinary about my lips and it smells like kind of like gum you know the blue bottle of gum that you get in school it kind of smells like that so i'm not a fan of the smell as much but it's quite mild so it just might be me i just put this in the night before sleeping and within one hour it's gone at least for me so this is like meh now alia but uses a much more 
better brand i forgot which one was it but uh, it was also expensive so i just tried the cheaper version next one is this viral pixie blush it's pixie on the glow blush in the shade ruby there are three shades in this there's a light pink then there's like a peachy tone and this is like a red one now it looks quite like bright but it's not you can just you know kind of apply it and just use a brush or your hand and it's really nice it just looks like as if you have a glow from within um i can't imagine i'm saying these words i've heard these words beauty bloggers say so many times so now i know what it means uh excuse this bad boy it's that time of the month so as you can see it gives a nice glow and you can build it up so this is how it looks up close it has a nice sheen it looks really nice and it's expensive it's almost 2000 rupees is it worth it see if you have the money yes because a budget is so subjective but honestly i feel that you could give this a miss because it's expensive and it this doesn't stay for too long it just washes off and you have to keep reapplying it and if suppose you set your face and then to apply cream blush over it not all products you know look good with powder and foundation and everything mixed so there are much better blushes than this this is great if you have the money and if you don't mind that it goes off and also it's quite sticky so in summer this may not be your best friend uh instead of that you can use this k beauty blush it's really good it has a velvety texture it's inexpensive it's like more than it's this is like around 700 and this is like 1950 so i think this will be a better option it looks really good and it doesn't kind of make your face all chip chip and it stays for a while but if you want to only use this you can set this with a powder blush but then if you want to use a powder blush to set a cream blush what's the point of buying a cream blush so i think you can give it a miss if the things that i told you are not that important to you okay so this next product is this dot and key retinol plus ceramide sleep treatment cream this also i bought after looking at alia bhat's video but is it thoda mujhe lagta hai dhoka ho gaya it's not very expensive it is 395 okay and this is how the bottle looks it looks like the bottle is wearing a sun hat so if you can see this is the bottom okay but but there is another jar inside this which if you see if you look closely ends here okay so you barely have any product in it and i have used this for a week and i think if i use this for more 10 days it will just be over there's barely in it and it's like a gel kind of thing honestly i mean it's 395 i agree but to give you just this much product now it says it's 25 ml and all right i don't know i just felt that you know the packaging is quite deceiving honestly you need a lot of it to feel like you've applied something really nice on your skin and to feel like that hydration but this is quite trying and you need a lot of it at one time so i think you can skip this there are many other retinol creams i have been using this pons age miracle wrinkle corrector i know it's a mouthful but it's really really good uh it is retinol c complex and it's for 799 it's double the price but you get a good amount of product as you can see it's almost used i have used bottles and bottles of this i've been using this for more than 5 years and i can vouch for this it's really good uh it helps keep the wrinkles away if i have applied this in the night and when i wake up in the morning i can see a clear difference when my skin feels glowy and you know the pigmentation marks are lighter or just brighter and it's very very nice this is not very hydrating but it's definitely better than this one and worth the money next one is this simple face wash uh it claims to be soap free which i like and it has no perfume no color no harsh chemicals no soap no alcohol mineral oils or non animal derived 
personally for me it's quite affordable it has a gel like consistency it's great and it doesn't like pull your skin after you use it only thing is that if you're wearing a lot of makeup this will not remove it with your hand you need like a facial brush if you're using a facial brush and this yes it will rip off the makeup completely but if you're just using this you might want to wipe off your makeup first and then uh, use this this by itself will not remove your makeup so this is more like everyday face wash and i like that it's very clean ingredients so that's that abhi tak to aapne mere dark circles dekhi liye hoge to mujhe inko kam karna tha so i ordered this serum by the ordinary it's a caffeine solution 5% plus egcg I use this for 15 very days and I don't know if it's something to do with my skin or it didn't suit me but I felt like my dark circles became darker after using this it didn't do anything for me and yeah I don't know I did not find it very impressive and as you can see I have like a good amount left I don't know what I'm going to do with this maybe I'll try again but I'm a little scared because I already have pretty heavy dark circles and to use this but To give them credit, there are a lot of good reviews on Nykaa for this product, so maybe it will suit you, but it didn't suit me. Mama still got those dark circles. Next product is a makeup product. This is the Huda Beauty Foundation in the shade Latte. It's really, really, really good. I had gone to buy Maybelline Fit Me, but the sales girl there was too good, and she sold me this. This is expensive. This is three thousand. 600 something I, i don't know the exact price uh but i'll put it in the description but she told me that this will last me a year and i don't wear foundation every day i only wear it when i'm going some very glamorous reel or something like that where or i'm going out honestly i don't like to put a lot of makeup in my everyday life and now i'm putting on makeup just for my reels or you have to not even do that so it's really good nice coverage a perfect match for my skin it is not a very hydrating foundation so you might want to pair this with a hydrating moisturizer and then apply this dries down very fast and it's also mattifying so that's that now let's talk about these bad boys so these are my holy grail products for acne uh this is the pink foundry overnight acne spot corrector now you must have seen some beauty bloggers if you're really into beauty and products and stuff uh them coating mario badasco now that's expensive so it has sulfur and salicylic acid together so it has this pink stuff at the bottom and the clear stuff at the top and and then you dunk a earbud in it and just shake it a bit and then apply it topically uh this is more drying so it will dry your acne off sometimes not all the time it works pretty well sometimes the acne just gets suppressed and it's still active underneath your skin and it may be occur later but most of the time it doesn't happen but sometimes it does then i have this very inexpensive uh, nykaa skin secret spot patch it's really nice uh, it's just for 100 bucks and you get this whole strip if you can see and uh, i honestly apply it continuously for 2 days and it just brings out the gunk from inside and the uh, ideally an acne which would last 7 days uh, because of this and this it just kind of gets over in 3 or 4 days and also because of this uh, it just comes out from the root and i've noticed that it doesn't leave a very deep scar but there are marks like you can see i still have it this is the minimalist uh, alpha lipoic plus glycolic 0.7 cleanser with vitamin b5 plus betaine and xylitic chloride <laughs> please don't hit me for the pronunciation all these skin care stuff has so many big big names god knows what it means honestly i use this it's a cleanser it doesn't clean my face it's too clean there's no like what do you call that that face or that jhag you got what i'm saying so it doesn't have that and i feel like I don't know. I don't know. Once I use this, I don't feel like my face is like squeaky clean. Again, sadly, I did not use this a lot. It's for three ninety nine, and yeah, but it has good reviews on Nykaa, so maybe it's just me. I don't know. Check it out. This Swiss Beauty Bold Matte Lip Liner Box. 
and if you know Swiss Studio, you must know that it's not very expensive. So it's so that's how it looks. And I forgot the price of this. I will link it in the description. But this is really good and handy, and it has all the colors you will need. I always find a match for whatever I'm using. So it has red, it has orange, it has purple, pink, brown, nudes, name it, and it's there. And like one MAC lip liner is around 800 bucks if I'm not wrong. K Beauty is another four, 500 or 600. But I think I got this for a really reasonable price. Please check in the description. And I mean, let's be realistic. It really doesn't matter what lip liner it is, especially if you're not like very particular about it. I mean, I'm very, very happy with this and the quality is great and nobody can tell. Nobody's gonna know. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please let me know your feedback in the comments. I would love to know if you like these videos or not. Otherwise, it's just a waste of time doing this if you don't want it. Honestly, I'll be very, very grateful for your feedback so that I can give you the content that you need. And take care of yourselves and be happy. Stay beautiful. See you soon in my next one. Bye.